good evening. How is everybody tonight? Can you all hear me okay? The time has come yet again to dive deep into the world of Facebook Marketplace. It's not an easy job, but it's one I'm willing to accept. So, how is everybody? Let's let a few people shuffle their way in here. And uh, as we wait for some people to, to show up, let's... Uh, oh, hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. We got uh, Dur Derby Ryder here. He's a... That's a member. Adam Wins. Tim Wickblad. Matt Wickzurich. Hunter McCornick. These are all uh, low buck club members, 99 cents a month. You can see all the videos early, and sometimes we do exclusive members only live chats every now and then, but uh, no pressure. So, how is everybody? I It's been a while since we've done a marketplace, much less the crackheads of marketplace. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to we're going we're gonna to search for some stuff. I don't know what we're going to search for. What should we search for, I suppose? So, uh, let's see if anybody, anybody want to come up with a good idea of something to search for. 73 Plymouth Roadrunner. We can look for Roadrunners in general. Should be some good crackheads there, for sure. So, let's do that. Roadrunner. All right, all right. So here's what we got. While well, we are looking within 91 miles of the Kansas City, Missouri area, you never know. I might find something good. That red Le Mans I found, uh, we found that on a Crackheads a Marketplace stream, and then I bought it. So sometimes I actually do buy the cars we find. You know, they're not actually Crackheads. So we uh, once again we have uh, we have. Sometimes I actually do buy. Oh, the cars. echoey. So. Once again, we have Marketplace doing Marketplace things, and I typed in Roadrunner, and I think there was one on the landing page. Sounds about right. So we have the 73 RM23, you know, he's a Graveyard Cars fan, that's for sure. Uh, uh, 344 speed, so I mean, that's pretty cool, uh, and it looks like a fairly decent car. However, it is a 73. I don't know what that's actually worth. Not a Mopar guy, but it is a 4-speed, and it's a 340, so... You know, it's worth more than your standard run-of-the-mill one, that's for sure. It's got traction bars, air shocks, you know, uh, standard fare. Not, not a bad car. It might be, I mean, you know, would shoot him an offer of, I don't know, what, 12 13 It's probably worth that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Marketplace for a start off. Let's see here. Uh, you could get this gym here. It's a 72. Fuselage body style still uh, in these. I like that Coke bottle shape. Personally, I really like the looks of these cars. Uh, but hmm, this one says it's a satellite. Comes with a whole bunch of crap. You know, I mean, like a bunch of parts. This is one of those, I'm going to work on it someday, guys. You know, and uh, yeah, see, there you go. See, that's an assemblage of crap in the shape of a Roadrunner in there. Um uh, but if it has a clean title, it says it does right there. Um, yeah, you know what? That's probably uh, that's probably worth it as long as it's solid. It's a big block car. Yes, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's worth it. I really don't know. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know how to turn on slow chat. Wow, you guys are chatting away down there. I, I'm really, really sorry. A hundred bucks from someone. I it's hard for me to keep up. Is literal tester who well, he's a member. I mean, the low buck club members are like the best people on earth. Uh, thanks so much, my guy. Thank you so much. And uh, take a drive. Gifted five memberships. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. And so five lucky people get to experience all the joys of the low buck club that way. Let's see. Uh, ooh, a Valari. Well, kind of. Roadrunner. Look at the meats on that thing. 318. Turns over and runs only when starter engaged. Well, it's a ballast resistor. Will not sit and idle and move. 
Well, if it, it's only running whenever it's in the crank position, so it's only running on the bypass of the ballast resistor. So it probably needs a $4 ballast resistor. Uh, 7,500 is a crackhead though. This is, I mean, look at that quarter panel here. It is falling off of the car. The, these were not renowned for their uh, rust proofing by any means, but that car is probably pretty bad. And uh, cool though it may be, it is not $7,500 cool. It's more like, uh, I don't know. Here, let's bring this up. Sorry. It's probably more like, I don't know, $2,000 cool. But uh, yeah. I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, Kragers. It's got Kragers on it. Mismatched tires that are probably junk. Uh, what else we got here? I mean, this is all under Roadrunner. And you guys know me. I'm not a Mopar guy at all. Uh, ooh, 64... Polera. Gold. Needs floors. Floors have already been cut out. He already did. He saved you the work of ruining the car for you. I mean, what a, what a guy. Uh, let's see. Poly 318. Push button automatic. Uh, let's see. Well, that's all you got. Three pictures. He doesn't show where he cut. He, I mean, he doesn't show the beautiful job he did cutting the floors out of that unibody car. But uh, I'm sure he did a bang-up job of it. Uh, let's see here. You know, I was kind of eyeballing this one myself. You guys familiar with Dirty Mary and Crazy Larry, the movie with Peter Fonda? Uh, that is a cool movie. And in the beginning of it, uh, Larry is driving a... I think it's a four-door hardtop, but it's a 66 uh, Biscayne or Bel Air uh, with a 427 and a four-speed in it. I would love to build one of those. Uh, this car is very clean looking, but it's a six-cylinder. But, you know, it's very clean. So, it would it be worth dropping a big block in that and uh, at a four-speed into an already really nice body? I don't know. Not for 7500 but... You know, if he gets down around like the five grand mark, I might be interested in that just to build a, a Dirty Mary Crazy Larry car. Hmm, let's see. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. So here's what. Oh, Boat Tail Riviera. Uh, Hot Rod 8983. I just brought up the chat and that popped up. We can do that. Uh, we'll, we'll just do Buick Riviera, because those are all pretty cool cars, even up into the 90s, I think. Well, there's a boat tail right there. Dumont, Iowa. This one runs and moves. Uh, has an exhaust tick, so it definitely has a deadlifter. Uh, runs good, drives good, actually, so it probably has brakes. That's what I would take that to mean. It's clearly at a junkyard or possibly someone with a yard like mine. That's not a bad buy, I don't think. 4500 might be just a hair high, but maybe 3500 That's a pretty big hole. Maybe we go to three. But uh, it has a floor pan, so you, you know, take it where you can get them. What a cool dash with that turned aluminum. It's not cut up. Boy, that's a buy there. Somebody ought to snag that. Where is Dumont, Iowa at? Hang on, let me, let me see. It is... Ooh, north of Waterloo. That's a, that's a minute out of, out of my way. Hmm, what else could we look for here? Uh, there's probably not a whole lot of those. Here's a 73 Riviera. 10.5, runs and drives great. Arguably the worst year of the boat tail because of the five mile an hour front bumper. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's all the pictures you get for ten thousand five hundred dollars. Apparently, that's uh, not much. So if we find any really good crackheads on here, I will message them and we will try to keep you updated on it as I message them. Um, you know, because uh, some of these prices I think are just jokes. And I mean, surely it's just got to be for for laughs, right? And uh, so we should, Jeff, we should just find out about that. Uh, let's see. Well, this might be one. 
uh, let's see, 73 Grand Prix mm -hmm, for $20,000. All right, so you want GTO money for that Grand Prix. It better be the nicest Grand Prix on the face of the earth, because that's about the ugliest Grand Prix on the face of the earth. I mean, it does look quite nice. It really does. Is it worth 20 You guys let me know. I wouldn't call it a crackhead. I would just call it someone who severely overestimates the value of a malaise era automobile. Hmm. All right. Well, that's enough Riviera. All right. Let me bring up the chat again. I'm having a let's see here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, big C. See if you can find any Ford Edsels. Okay. Well, they are actually just Edsel. Edsel was the brand. Edsel Ford was um henry ford the second son i think i don't know maybe henry ford's son and uh it, it is its own brand it's not a ford edsel it is an edsel aha all right we got a two-door ranger here ran two years ago springfield illinois uh it's got snow tires on the back of it so you know it was well taken care of <laughs> Uh, but I will say that these cars don't rust that bad. They do have that going for them. That's a different car, I hope. Whoa. Is it? No, it's not. Wow. They just shoved it in the woods? Yeah, they did. That must be an older picture. And then they just stuffed it off in the woods. Well, you know, still though, being an Edsel, I think it would at least have a 292 in it. So that would be kind of cool. Uh, I don't know. And three grand is way too much, but uh, we could, you know, negotiate. I don't want it though. Uh, let's see. Uh... <laughs> now there's a '59 Edsel for fifteen hundred. Ah, four door post. Looks like it's got a window broke out of it. No title. Motors locked up firm that means no low ballers he knows what he's got yeah you've got uh, 200 dollars a ton worth of metal there buddy those are not desirable cars wow uh let's see a hudson very cool you gotta look at that just because that's a cool car now oh, you gotta love these very nice car make reasonable offers was asking 12.5 will take 10,000 or best offer trade in other words i'm desperate somebody buy this <laughs> ah, i mean i don't know cool car you don't see those very often pretty neat is the the pacemaker is the cheapy hudson right i mean that's like the uh that wouldn't have the big six in it would it I don't know. Cool car. Hmm. You know, we do need to find if you guys, uh, you'll, you know, non members will see the video on Friday, but members have already seen uh, the Red Le Mans video. We need to find a Pontiac uh, to put that 350 in. Spoiler alert. Uh, we should find some really good crack hits among the uh, Pontiac crowd. Um, uh, let's see here. That looks like a potential roller. Uh, whoa. Okay, it's a DIY kit. Uh, comes with a 400 engine. No transmission. Lots of parts. For $4,500. For, uh, you know, it would have been worth something before you disassembled it. See, you know... Uh, rule number one of working on a car is not to disassemble the entire car for no reason. Uh, just leave it together, and you'll probably get it back together. Yeah, that's a crackhead for sure. Uh, that's worth every bit of $1,500. You know, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see... 77 Grand Prix. Oh, well, I don't have one of those. Oh, wait, I do. Okay, he wants 2500 for this. I gave 1500 for mine. It did run and needed a tune-up, just like this one. And this one needs brake work. It's a 400. Firm on price. The interior is a little better than the one I bought. Uh, it's velour, which is awful. And you imagine the smell. 
Uh, yep, it's every bit as crappy. That That's all filler. The roof is absolutely gone. Uh, yeah, there's nothing left of that roof. I can guarantee it. I can see bubbles all over it. It's probably worse than mine. Uh, yeah, nope, he's crazy. You know, that's a nice $700 car he's got there, though. I don't know. what What's another... Well, anything, really, that we could put a Pontiac engine in. Uh, let's see. I am not looking for a Cavalier. <laughs> let's see here. AMC Pacer, Firebird. Yeah, of course. Uh, we could look for... Yeah, Catalina. That'd be a good one. Uh, let's do, uh, let's do Firebird first, because that's going to bring up a lot of stuff. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, all right. Okay. Whoa, yeah. Uh, that's what I want to see right there. Hang on, we got... Oh, that's... <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> what, what in the meth... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god 77 front bumper racing seats four point harnesses cool <laughs> uh it still has the 400 in it it's a four speed motor's been bored uh, boring a motor doesn't do anything for performance, uh, so just so you know. Forged pistons, cam, just cam. It does, in fact, have a camshaft. It has heads and long tube headers and LED headlights. Those are those Amazon ones, and I can tell from this picture that they're really well adjusted. Uh, what heads does it have? Those are uh, factory iron heads, as far as I can tell. Uh, cash is king. <laughs> $9,800, and American Muscle on the window. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. I maxed out the credit card on eBay and did this. <laughs> what? Oh, that's not a selling point, my guy. Anyway. Hmm. What else we got here? Be cool to oh there. What's that? Five hundred bucks. Oh wow. I mean, there's five hundred bucks in parts there probably, but the, you could always tell these cars they're all sagged out in the back there. Those leaf springs are poking through, if they're even there. Yeah, what a waste. I've never been a big F body guy, but. Uh, you know, for the right price, I would get into one. You know, it'd be pretty funny to put a Pontiac in a Chevy. That'd be funny. Uh, would need a bonded title. Well, you uh, can't get those in Missouri, as far as I know. So, have fun with that. Uh, it was going to be his project car. But it's not. Yeah, I don't know, 1500 bucks. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's not. I really don't know. Uh, da -da, I don't really, I'm not seeing this thing still for sale. Well, this was on there the last time we looked, I think. Um, uh, you know, runs good. Clean title, $5,000. I mean, I'm tempted to offer them like $2,000 because that's what it's actually worth. Uh, but, you know, I also don't really want to, uh, you know, you never want to upset people, uh, that, like that. So, uh, hmm. Look at that. How about this? 68 Nova. Average shape. No motor. But it comes with two transmissions. Uh, title. Cut out for mini tubs. So it's been destroyed. Uh, yeah. Needs trimmed and final fit. So you cut giant holes in the back of it. Realize you got in way the hell over your head. And uh, now you want to get rid of it. It's fair. Um, yeah. Well... Uh, definitely a turbo 350. 
Because he's got a lot of parts. That's what I notice on Marketplace these days. The guy's got a lot of parts. And then not much car. There's all the trunk floor they chopped out of it. Oh, my God. Oh, no. you got to do more than just cut the floor out of it, my guy. you got to narrow the axle. you got to, I mean, you got to do more than to just hack giant holes in things and destroy the structural integrity of that subframe car. Wow. That's a crackhead. $6,900 for that is just insanity. Hmm. All right, what else we got? I got my phone with the... Uh, oh, Carrie Elliott, thanks for joining the Low Buck Club. Much appreciated. Uh, let's see. Look for 66 to 69, Delta 88. How about just Delta 88? Let's do that. Uh because I would put that good Pontiac driveline in a Oldsmobile happily. They are sister engines, so they uh, interchange very, very easily. But hang on. In typical marketplace fashion, I got distracted by this LTD station wagon. Uh, runs good. Needs a leak and a brake line fixed. Yeah. I mean, that's not worth anywhere near 3800 bucks. but I would buy that what should i shoot him an offer i mean this isn't this is about i don't know an hour from me maybe what's a fair offer for me just to say i'll buy it sight unseen for somebody all right what do we got here you think of 1500 bucks i mean is i know mean, it's a low ball it's freaking ugly 1200 three grand i'm not pay i wouldn't pay three grand for this car in a million years two grand maybe I might do two grand. Let's try for fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred uh, cash this weekend. And send. Okay. We will see how that works out, Mr. Alex Baum. Are you a, are you in here, Alex? Are you in? <laughs> please. Uh, eight hundred, David. You're going to get me shot. Um, all right. Well, let's see what happens with that. We can uh, we can continue browsing. Uh, but I have this thing's not bad. I get it's cool. And, you know, I like my LTDs. It's got a gallon antifreeze there. That's a great sign. Um, you know, sometimes I jump to uh, impulse buys a little bit too quickly. Oh, he messaged back. Nope. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> well, he said, nope. Yeah, okay, well, you could keep that, buddy. It's a 78 Country Squire station wagon, not a Camaro. So uh, let's all, let's just settle down a little there. What do we got here? 65 Olds, 88. Uh, 330, 350 needs motor mounts. Okay, so you could buy that stupid wagon or this running, driving 65 Oldsmobile for $1,000. Look at that thing. I mean, you know, it's kind of trashy, but it's cool. Needs a heater core, so what? 330 is a good running little motor, too. They're forged internals in those, or a forged crank in those. Really good motor. That's a hell of a buy for a thousand dollars. If I had, uh, if I had the time to get up to Nebraska, I would go snag that. I really would. Thousand bucks. That's just silly. Clean title too. So if you guys are in Nebraska, it's a hard top. See that? No pillar. That's a good buy. I mean, it's a big undesirable car, but it's priced accordingly, and that's you know that's a that's what you want to see right there. Somebody should snag that baby. Hmm. Well, 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 what else we got here? Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a 69 Cutlass. Got to look at that because I do have a good parts car for one. Uh, okay. Uh, convertible, which makes me not interested immediately. But uh, cars a project seems to have most of the parts. Uh, block needs sleeved. 
I mean, a, a 69 442 doesn't mean a whole lot. It's probably just a 350. Five grand. I, I don't know. It might be worth it. Uh, they don't really hold the same value as a GTO or a you know, Chevelle SS or something like that. But, uh, you know, they still have their place. Let's see. I saw this thing. It's 98 here. Uh, this, uh, I mean, it's only, this is the picture, but yeah, that 98, 800 bucks, but there's with a title that would be a good one to drop that motor and trans in. Uh, I don't know, not, not my style, though. it's a lot of work to put into a, a kind of average car. Well, you know what else that Pontiac would bolt into would be a GMC truck. They do bolt into those pretty easily. That's pretty cool. I like that. Not usually my style, but I, I do like this one in particular for some reason. Uh, short bed step side is probably why. And a title. I mean, that twenty-five hundred bucks for that is more. That's a pretty fair price. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. What else we got here? Uh, holy cow! We got twenty-five hundred people in here. Hello, everybody. Uh, internationals force PVC. I just saw you. All right. See, when you're a member, I can see your names pop up so much easier in that chat. Yeah, we can look for internationals. I would ruin an international. Oh my God. Well, <sighs> Ooh, look, look at that. God dying. I've always needed me a cab over. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, no, I probably don't need that at all, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's see, 61 international pickup for $14,000. And look, that's a finished product right there. Runs great, 266 in it. That's a finished product. That's worth what he's asking. I mean, you know, that's not bad. How about a school bus? How about a freaking school bus? Hmm, older school bus. Don't know much about it. I don't know how I'd haul it home. That's the problem. This thing's like three hours away from me. I mean, just getting that thing hauled home would cost a fortune. I'm sure you can make it drive home, but I, I still work it full time. I don't, I don't have the time for that. Um, we got... Uh, okay, well, there's a $500 AMC Pacer. You, you, you know, most AMC Pacers are actually worth $500. Uh, this one, I think you'd have to give me $500 uh, to haul that away. Actually, no, I wouldn't even do it for that. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, it's got some glass, I guess. I'm sure that's not hard, or I'm sure that's not easy to find if you're, uh, if you live in a basement or a Unabomber shack somewhere. And uh, really, really like AMC Pacers. Okay, what else we got here? Um, yeah, all right. Well, not much for internationals, but what did we really expect? Uh, Fairmont, uh, Pontiac Phoenix. Yeah, never going to find that. Michael, yeah, I'll be on Power Tour this year for sure. Uh, Apache, Triumph, Spitfire, Ford, Galaxy, Goobies, Fun Zone. Thanks, man. Five bucks. Can't wait till I build that quarter million dollar shop. It's going to be like a $20,000 shop. But we are building a building. <laughs> uh, Century Wagon. Oh, El Camino. El Camino. I would uh, po Pontiac powered El Camino. That's a good idea. Because I have a 71 or two Le Mans front clip. Uh, I've had it around for a while. And if we could find an A-body El Camino, we could create a monstrosity. That's an El Crapino for sure. That's garbage. And it's way the hell down in Arkansas, unfortunately. Unless I know anybody in Arkansas that would want to haul that home for me. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't know, he wants too much for it anyway. But too much to just lowball him, because that's what I would do. 
I think everybody should go find that red uh, LTD station wagon and then uh, offer them, yeah, go offer them like 300 bucks. <laughs> the, maybe my, maybe my $1,500 offer will, will look a lot better for that, for that red 1978 LTD in Holt, Missouri. <clears throat> oh, I know. I didn't say that. That would be evil of me to, 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 to suggest that. <laughs> See, it's like 2,000 messages. <laughs> uh, let's see. Man, I'm just not, there's not, well, it's in Oklahoma. I do like Oklahoma. Those aren't bad. No titles. Damn. But two grand for two. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Those are cool, though. I mean, I, I like 66 and a 7 El Camino. Good-looking car. Really are. What? Okay, what 74 Nova is worth $10,500? None. That's the answer. Uh, <laughs> wow. I mean, mismatch sheet metal... Uh, true SS. I have the build sheet to show SS codes. Nobody cares. It's a 74 Nova. <laughs> I, where do people come up with this stuff, man? I don't. <laughs> oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. This car came from the factory as an SS. It does not have the original engine. No, it, it doesn't matter. It's a 74 Nova. It's like 160 horsepower, 350. Nobody cares. Oh, my God. You guys are doing it on the wagon. Yo, Big Mac. We offered 700. <laughs> I So, like, that Nova, I just want to be like, is that price actually... Is the price... Oh, here, actually... Thanks for making me, you know, no, I'm not going to be a dick. I, I was going to be like, thanks for making me laugh. You know, you're, you're, that price really lightened my mood, but what do you actually want for it? But I won't do that. I mean, uh, he's not, you know, I, I would lowball the uh, red wagon guy because I would actually buy the car. You know? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody offered him advice for that wagon. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, you guys. You guys can get me in trouble. It's a 68 Nova here for $27.50 in Springfield. You look like a rotten pile. Clean title. Okay. Uh, lots of parts. So, yeah, that other roller Nova that the idiot cut the whole trunk out of was $7,000. This one's twenty-seven fifty. This is a fair deal. I mean, as long as the rear uh, leaf spring shackles aren't poking through the frame. Last on the road, 93. So the cool thing is, is a Pontiac Ventura is the same thing as a Nova. Uh, that 350 Pontiac I got would bolt right in there. That is a pretty good deal. It really is. I'm going to save that for later. Uh, I mean, it. look, it's already got a Pontiac Rally on it. I mean, it's almost meant to be, really. I don't mind hanging a quarter on a car. But uh, you want your frame rail here to be good. And then it's the rear wheel arch. Well, and here, this body mount, they rot out too. But the uh, rear wheel arch is where they really go. And he doesn't have any pictures of that, but I, I'd wager it's probably all right. It doesn't look too rusty. Man, I, we, I wish we could find a better El Camino, you know? I mean, like that is exactly what I want, just not for $5,400 as a roller. He dropped the price again. He'll give it one more week. Uh, and that was 17 weeks ago. So uh, 
I, you, do you ever think these people just realize that, hey, maybe I want way too much money for my stuff and it's not worth it? No, they don't because, you know, that's what makes them crackheads. So, uh, let's see here. Ooh, 55 Ford. Okay, look at that. Now, that is a tough little car there. I like that. You know, I know a guy with a GMC Sprint in his backyard. It's a pile of crap. I bet I can get it. That's an idea. Somebody just said something about GMC Sprints. Oh, and thank you, Gooby's Fun Zone. Yes, I have heard of the Pontiac Beaumont. They're uh, factory Chevy-powered Pontiacs. It was Canada's Pontiac. Actually, it was Canada's GM in general, right? This is cool. I don't know if it's worth almost $3,000, but it is very cool. Uh, does it, have a, it doesn't say anything about a title. That's the, that's the kicker here. Where's Neosho Rapids at? Uh... Okay, so just west of Ottawa, down 35. I mean, that's uh, about two hours and some change for me. I don't know. I like the looks of it. How cool would that be with a Pontiac in it is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, he doesn't say anything about a title, does he? Oh, no, he does. First sentence. Duh. I'm dumb. I almost made the crackhead marketplace purchaser move there, and I that would have been a mistake. Let me go back and save that, actually. I'm... Oh, crap. Where'd it go? There it is. Save that for later. I might message him as well. <clears throat> Let's see. This one's a scam. You know how I know that? Because her name's Jessica Santiago. Here, $20,000. And it has this, like, BS Wikipedia description. But then you click on her profile and look at this so if you ever want to uh, see if something is a uh, scam dig this look at that <laughs> she's got them listed for iowa california michigan colorado massachusetts florida georgia colorado again green bay uh yeah look at that like, how does Marketplace get away with that? Everybody should go find this ad, Overland Park, Kansas, or wherever you're at. Jessica Santiago and report it. Let's let's do some good while we're here. It's a scam. All right. Done. Oh, here's a good crackhead. Hang on. I got to reply to a text real quick. Hang on. You think that uh, you think that red wagon guy's? You think he's gonna take my fifteen hundred bucks? <laughs> Come on, man. All right. So this is insanity. A seventy-seven Oldsmobile for. Uh, 22,000 and it's a 442 it's kind of like kevin's dad's car there is not a single one of these cars that's worth twenty two thousand dollars. look at the single exhaust on it i mean it's nice it's pretty it's a 455 it's really nice positive traction i mean he doesn't even know his nomenclature at all so he doesn't know anything about cars but he, you know he sees oh i have a shiny car it must be worth something. It's not. It's a 1977 anything. It's not worth anything, unless it's a Trans Am, maybe. I mean, look at the oil right here on the inspection cover. It's got a leaky rear main seal. It's not like that's anything, no big deal, I mean, but it's typical of a rope-style seal in a car that doesn't get driven much. But, you know, for $22,000, I should be able to eat my Big Mac off the floorboards of that car. And also, it should probably be made out of gold. So, yeah, that's a crackhead for sure. Big time crackhead. All right, what else should we look for? That's a lot of GM stuff. Red LTD guy has no sense of humor. What did he say, Terry? 
Willie's Jeep Marketplace. That's you know we haven't looked up any Willies or Jeeps. What is a? I want to see. I want to hear the uh, red wagon guy stories. This is poison. Why is this poison? What am I doing wrong? That that Steve guy said this is poison. Is it me or is it the marketplace guys? I'm just calling it like it is, all right? And also being a little bit evil. Um, whoa, hang on. Now, I typed in Jeep, and what comes up with this 65 Galaxy convertible for 6500 bucks? Runs and drives. Needs exhaust work. Trading. He's interested in trading on a vehicle or maybe on a mobile home. I'll be damned. I could probably drink beer with this guy. Holy crap. That is not a bad looking car. I mean, it's definitely a Mako paint job. But, uh, you know, shoot, it's a convertible. Obviously, the top seems to work, although it's in pretty poor shape. But I like that. That's a cool car. That would be a really fun summer cruiser for the family, you know. Uh, 6500 maybe a little bit much, but you know you could buy it for five. So what am I looking at with this Willie stuff, guys? Because I don't really know. Um, I mean, is this like a crackhead price? $8,500 for this. Uh, new glass, headliner, tires, brakes. It needs car rebuilt or cleaned. $8,500 cash or consider trade. I mean, uh, to my eye, it doesn't look that bad for that price. Well, that... What the hell is that? Is that a... I mean, I hope it's a thumb. I really hope it's a thumb. I don't know. I don't see any hair on it. I'm pretty sure it's a thumb. God, I hope so. Uh, I mean, look. I mean, it's not even all rotten back here. That that looks pretty decent. I think 5,500 is what Krusty Truck says. Uh, now, hang on. Does he? Uh, does the butt cheek in the picture? Does that add? To the value, though it might, it does to me for sure. Uh, ooh, 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 uh, thanks for the two bucks. Take a drive, AMC Javelin or a Hornet. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, yeah. So the uh, so butt cheeks add to value is what I took from that, and I will now proceed. And from now on, I'll make sure to you know hang one out in each of my for sale ads. Uh, what's the 74 Ranchero GT? Yeah. I don't know. Eek. You know, I gave, I gave 2200 for mine with that 429 in it. And then, uh, well, I sold it to a real nice kid in Ohio, uh, who, who hauled it home. And he's driving the thing now. I sold it to him for 3200 bucks, running, driving, stopping, not this. You know, I think I think that's a five hundred dollar car. Fifteen hundred is crazy. I, I'm sorry. I, then again, it's been listed for eighteen weeks. Five hundred bucks might buy that. Where's Ridgeway at? I have a lot of four sixties to put in things. It's on my way to Iowa. Hmm. Save. <laughs> All right, well, let's look up some AMCs. Uh, Hornets, maybe? Hornet. Uh, is that... Okay, yeah, yeah. Woo! What in the name of God? The Green Bay Packer Hornet. 232 in line 6. Runs like a sewing machine. We say that as a joke, uh, actually. That's not a uh, positive where I come from. Um... 95% original paint. Really? What's the 5%? I wonder. <laughs> $10,000 for a six-cylinder four-door Hornet with the Green Bay Packers painted on it. And the worst wheel ever conceived of by man, the Outlaw 2. No, thank you. 
<clears throat> that would be a crackhead. Here's an SX4 uh, for $5,500. Now, keep in mind, I have one of these in my backyard. That's a five-speed car uh, with a 4.0 in it, and a four-barrel, and headers, and aluminum intake, and all kinds of goodies running, driving car. In fact, I sold it to Kevin Junkyard Diggs for $2,500. Uh, so you'll see that coming up soon. They want $5,500 for this. Uh, let's see. Uh, engine has a knock. Um, let's see. Yeah. Not bad inside. Not bad on the door. Uh, this is definitely a project car, but one that will be well worth your investment. No, it won't. A good running SX4 is about seven grand, six, seven, some, somewhere in that ballpark. They're just not worth it. I do. I did like the SX4, but I mean, you guys know I got 20 some odd cars around here and I have no interest in piling up cars. You know, I, I am trying to sell off stuff. If you ever see anything you're interested in, that's not a personal favorite of mine. You know, I'm not selling the gold LTD. I'm not selling the Torino. I'm not selling the Le Mans I've had since I was in high school. Um, yeah. You know, or the Dodge truck I just got. I mean, those are off limits. The Mustang too is off limits. Pretty much anything else is fair game. I mean, you guys reach out, and we could probably work something out. Uh, as long as I don't have plans for it, you know. The problem is most of it's junk, and, you know, why would any of you want any of it? <laughs> and not much there. Let's look for Javelins. Let's give the AMCs their fair shake. Here we go. How about a six by six? You know, that's a, I believe this is a, a uh, that's not an AMC, is it? That's a, oh my gosh, what are they called? I want to say AMF, but that's not right. But, uh, no, I don't have the Ranchero, Solly. I, I just said I sold that. You know, I do sell cars. I don't just line them up. I, I mean, it looks like I do, but... That's just content waiting to happen. And then I'm pretty much done. AM General. AMG. That's right. 5500 bucks, and then some bitch runs and drives. You think that's a multi-fuel? Probably is. Uh, it would say it on the side, but I don't... I'm trying to make it out. I don't... That may not be a multi-fuel. If it was a multi-fuel, that would be cool. And yes, I am keeping the Holy Goat, of course. That car is, you couldn't buy it. it. There's no amount of money in the world that would buy that car, period. Now, here's an SX4 for $1,800 running. <laughs> so, how does that idiot with the other one for $5,500 look at this and go, well, mine's worth three times that amount? <laughs> uh, some inner rocker rust... Uh, Needs a clutch master cylinder. They all do. Good luck finding it. I went with a Willwood. Uh, that's a really good deal. 1800 bucks for that is a really good deal. I can't believe that is still available. It kind of makes me want to buy another one. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a bargain. What's this? A Rebel 327. Not a Chevy 327. It's AMC's 327. Totally different animal. Hmm. Floor shift. That's cool. It's like factory floor shift. That. Well, those are some stellar pictures, my friend. Wait, four speed? No, is it? That looks like an automatic shifter to me. Am I wrong? It looks like a straight pull back. Maybe it is a four speed. That's 3300 bucks for that? Where's this at? Okay, about two and a half hours for me. Hmm. Save. All right, uh, let's see. Somebody said that 74 Ranchero would have a 351 Cleveland. No, it wouldn't. It could. It'd be a two-barrel Cleveland. 
but it's more likely a 302 or a 400 or a 460 maybe if it was a really well optioned car but uh it's probably just a 302 the gt doesn't mean anything in the 70s once you get into small gears nothing really matters it's all junk Here's a Marlin. That's cool. Where's this? Rogers, Arkansas. That is such a unique car. It's ugly. Don't get me wrong. But, man, you talk about something being impossible to find parts for to restore, unfortunately. But, man. Would be fun to do one of those for sure. Used to be one sitting at a lake around here for a long, long time, and I tried to buy it, and I think it got scrapped. They wouldn't sell it, and then they died, because that's what they do. Here's another SX4 that's obviously nicer. Four-cylinder, four-speed. Uh, starts great. Could use some transmission work. Oh. Synchro for first gear is messed up, so I just started second, and it says the clutch is almost wore out. Hmm, I wonder why the clutch got wore out. <laughs> there might be some correlation there. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We got a CUDA. 73 CUDA. He has too many projects going on right now. What you see is what you get. A lot of metal work has been done already. Yeah, like this uh, quarter panel that I can tell from a really bad potato picture is hung really badly. Um... This would be a perfect body man special. No, this would be a perfect adult model car kit special. Like, why do people do this? Leave the car together. It, it, if you're not going to finish it, if, I mean, just be honest with yourself. God, what a rusty pig, though. Look at that firewall. That is scrap metal. I mean, if it wasn't a freaking CUDA, that would be scrap metal. What is this? What the hell is this? It has a TR4 running gear, oh, so it doesn't run. Uh, a Jamaican? It's not a VW car. Huh. Kind of interesting. Oh, my God. What do we got here? Hmm. Cordoba. I kind of like the looks of Cordobas, actually. All right, 360 four barrel thermo quad. It's not the lean burn system. Uh, that's cool. Very reliable. Uh, air conditioning works and the eight track. Only real rust is in the truck pan. Selling due to serious injury. Not interested in trades. Wonder if there's a video there on that. There probably is, actually. I kind of like that. I know I just got done saying I hate Chryslers, but uh, why am I tempted by this? Oh, look at that rich Corinthian leather. Listed 17 weeks ago. All right, well, let's do the good old uh, what's your bottom dollar question. Oh, I accidentally hit enter. Oh, God, I am not. I'm so bad at computers. There we go. So bad at computers, says the guy that edits video for most of his living. <laughs> uh, have. 71 AMC Hornet SST. Wow. Now that is a picture. Wow. A little on the rare side. Pictures courtesy of Microwave Oven. It's a six cylinder. It's rattle canned black. It's a four door. $9,000. Wow. I'm going to do the. You know, did you mean 900? Yeah, 
see, here's the thing, guys. We can all say, oh, well, you know, you should just keep scrolling if you don't like the price. No, you shouldn't. You should shame these people into realizing that they're stupid. And that is how we fix this problem. The problem is, is everybody thinks they can put their car out here and ask a million dollars for it and there's no consequences. Well, there are consequences. I'm the consequences. So, yeah, everybody needs to do their part and tell these people that they're stupid. And then if enough people do that, we can get the prices to be more realistic. Thus, increasing the amount of cars we can all buy. What should we uh, look for here? I don't want a boat. No, I don't do boats or small engines. I don't do any of that crap. Uh, let's see here. Hearse? Uh, we can look for a hearse, but I don't think we're going to find any crackheads. This thing's been for sale for a while. I don't know why it's not, uh, it hasn't been sold. I mean, what is it? I don't know. It's ugly. It's really stupid. And I kind of want it. But it's just, it's more than I want to spend on it. But what would I do with it? I don't know. But it's cool. I mean, it is. It's a hearse for sure. It's a coach car. Yeah, they're, yeah, Eureka Company. Rock Falls, Illinois. That's pretty cool. Uh, go with God. I mean, how fun would that be to remodel that and a car at the same time? That would be a lot of fun. No brakes, but I bet you can get brakes for that because it's just a Cadillac. 8,500 is way too much. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, I, I, it's unique and it's rare, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's valuable. I'm going to guess that's more like a $4,000 thing, but I, I could be totally off base there. So I don't think I'm going to offer them four grand. But I will, I'll keep, here, I'll save it. Here, let me save that. And I'll just keep an eye on it uh, over the next few weeks, months. I don't think he's going to sell that thing anytime soon. So, here's a, oh, that's a Ghostbusters car there. 59 Cadillac hearse. What is going on with my internet? There we go. Oh, he has a Miller Meteor as well. Oh, oh yeah, right there. He was going to build a uh, Ghostbusters car. I don't know what I'm looking at here, but it's pretty damn cool. You got to give him credit for that. It's probably worth what he wants. Not to me, but it's probably worth what he wants. How far will you travel for an 83 Fox body project? Not very far. I, I don't like, I'm not into Fox bodies, really. Everybody else likes Fox bodies at night. Eh. I like old school. I like 60s and 70s cars pretty much exclusively, except for trucks. Uh, there's another Marlin. Two Marlins. Two Marlins for a thousand bucks. No titles. Wow. I mean, that look, you got to figure the freaking windows in that car are probably worth a thousand dollars. That's very cool. Man, I want one of those cars, but. I don't know. Not right now. I don't need another gigantic project. I got plenty of that crap. Here's another hearse. Wow, that is an ugly machine. Then again, I guess it just hauled dead people. Their opinions are kind of irrelevant, aren't they? Um, <laughs> four grand with a clean title, no drivetrain. Well, I just happen to have a Pontiac engine. Uh. Republic, Republic. Oh, that's down south. Hmm. Oh, the casket can be sold separately for 800 no less. You can get those for free out of the cemetery. Yeah, I'm not paying four grand for that. That's way, way, way too much. But it's still neat nonetheless. Too neat for me to harass them. Whoa. 
60 Buick, runs fantastic, needs some brake work as he's careening down the road. Hmm, AC pump turns on but is low on Freon. Well, you know, that stuff just evaporates. What a cool car. 60 Buicks are pretty, uh, what you would call, I guess, divisive. They uh, kind of, the front end just looks angry, mean. But it's, it's cool in its own way. If you either love them or you hate them. What a cool car. You know, in the late 50s, early 60s, all the cars are like that jet age styling. Uh, I mean, it just looks like you're in the cockpit of some kind of futuristic space machine, you know. that That's cool. We don't have anything like that anymore and haven't for a long, long time. Eh, not interested in any of that garbage. What's this 73 Oldsmobile 98? Ah, uh, well, let's just get off of that. And, uh, yeah. So, what else we got here? Eighties Chrysler Fifth Avenue. Who the hell wants to see that? No, thanks. Would you buy an SN ninety five? No. No, dude, I like, like, 67, like, cool cars, okay? Like, you know, I'm sorry. The 80s are pretty bad for cars. 90s, too. Uh, yeah, I know. I like, I like old school. Jags! We can do a Jags real quick. There's probably not too many of them. Oh, my God! V12. Engine hasn't run for some time. We'll crank over. Ah, uh, was told it needed injectors. Perfect candidate for Chevy V8 or LS swap. Makes it more reliable and better handling and quicker. Uh, I can attest that that's not necessarily true. I uh, have some experience. Uh, what's this one? Okay. Rare opportunity to grab a piece of automotive history. Up for sale is a two-owner mint condition. 1989 Jaguar XJS Rouge Collector's Edition Coupe. I've already read this on here. I'm pretty sure I've already looked at this piece of crap car on, on a Crackheads of Marketplace stream before. Uh, but I'll do it again anyway. This Jaguar, this Jaguar has the coveted 5.3 liter V12 with a three-speed automatic transmission. There are 42,000 original miles on the car currently. The car has been garaged its entire life. The car has been meticulously maintained over its lifespan and recently had a comprehensive vehicle inspection, which entailed all of the fluids in the vehicle being flushed and replaced along with the new ABS brake module being installed. This car is in mint condition and even still has the new car smell after all these years. The smell of a Jag. The car comes with the original manual toolkit, alternative Jaguar badges, and a cover for the vehicle. $16,000, no lowball offers. $3,500 cash. You think he's going to take that 3500 bucks? <laughs> oh, see, you got to punish these people. You got to punish them. I mean, there's half a dozen other Jaguars on here that look just as stupid as that one. I mean, uh, glorious as that one for a lot less money. There's an XK8. 41000 XK8. It's a dealership, so you know they're going to scam you, but that's a cool-looking car. I don't think there'd be any content in me doing one of these cars, though. That's the problem. I personally really like them, but, you know, there's no content there, so I can't really justify dropping that kind of money. Hmm, yes. Oh, my God! Oh.
laughing my fucking ass off. Are you wanting to buy a wheel or something? This is the Jag guy. It's somebody give me a witty reply. Hang on, we, we I want to look at the Barbie Jag just as much as anybody else, but I'm gonna say it's a Jag XJ. It's an XJS, not an E-type. <laughs> Mm, no, 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 hang on, hang on. It's in stock. I have to... They're pretty much worthless, awful... Automobiles. But yours does have nice wheels. Do they have Lucas Electronics in them? Okay, well, that's enough harassing him. Anyway, I want this. Uh, how do I buy this? Uh... You know what, I, no, I'm not going to go trolling. I was going to ask if it ran and drove, but of course it doesn't. It's a jag. Uh, anyway. Let's see. What, uh, all right, what else we got? 240Z? We can do that. I don't want to look up four-wheel drive vans. I, I hate them. 240Z. And of course, what shows up? Not a single one. Oh. One in the middle. Someone's buying this one for thirteen five hundred, so I think it's got a little value. You sly dog, like a true jag owner, you're thieving about that money. You sly dog. Excellent move getting someone to buy your jag. Anyway. Uh, let's see. This 240Z uh, right here. Uh, Oklahoma. Non-original L24 with round top SUs. I don't know. What, what is that? I don't know. Some Throw that away. Put a small block in it. It's fixed. Comes with notarized bill of sale only. Get a title for five hundred dollars. Good lord, fifty three hundred for that seems a little excessive, but I, I know it's a nineteen seventy, so it is worth a little bit more for sure. But it's pretty damn rusty. I mean that that thing. Oof. I don't know. I really don't know. That might be worth. I don't know. It's hard telling because that is a desirable, valuable car. But. Uh, Hmm. Let's see what else we got. Hmm. Hmm. Seventy Jaguar XK. No, thirty-five grand. No, there's no way. This has got to be bogus. That car is worth a fortune, like six figures. No way. Not that I have 35 grand sitting around, but still, that's that's an E-type. Wow. What a beauty. And still a pile of crap. <laughs> There's a 280Z. Will a Pontiac 350 even fit in that? I don't know. It'd be, be tight. 
I guess I could put that Pontiac 350 in a Jag, but then I still have a Jag attached to it, and that's, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose. I want a Corvette to put it in. That would be cool. And build a Pontiac Banshee. I don't know if you guys have seen the Banshee before, but it's Pontiac's version of the Corvette. Uh, it was a prototype before the C3 Corvette came out. Um, Impala. Search for needs engine. That's a good idea. That guy's entirely too friendly on that Jag. He's no fun. How dare he be decent? You're a Jag owner. Act like one. Anyway, um, yeah, Needs Engine is a really good idea. Why didn't I think about that? That's a really smart move. All right, Needs Engine. First thing pops up, that red station wagon. He's still not taking 1500 bucks for me for it for some reason. You guys, come on, get on it. Uh Nothing like some good old peer pressure to uh, to force someone to sell something. Oh my God, the van, the van. It's not quite the van. It's way worse than the van. Hmm. This is an all or nothing deal. I mean, I don't blame you. That's a fine machine right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do a V8 Vega, guys, for sure. Yeah, Vega would be a good one. But it'd be nice to get something that I could easily buy mounts for and just install. So A body, F body, X body, or a big B body car, you know, that would just, it would make my life a lot easier. Um, so that, that, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Or even a truck, even a square body truck. Uh, they make kits for that. I was eyeballing this one, but there's no title, which is too bad. I mean, it's completely destroyed. So it'd be a, I wouldn't feel bad about putting a Pontiac motor in that at all. But, uh, you know, it's pretty well. No title and everything. I, I, I can get titles, but it's a pain in the ass and a little bit shady. So <laughs> I try not to do it here. Hmm. I don't see it. Needs engine seems to bring up a whole bunch of running, driving vehicles. Uh, I hate Marketplace. Well, can we please have Craigslist back? Crackheads of Craigslist has a way better ring anyway. What, uh, what else we got? Who has a, a good idea for something to look at? Not a, but an Opal? No. Uh, so yeah, we did El Caminos already. Uh, Vista Cruiser, not going to happen. Roller, roller, that's a good term. Yeah, good idea. Uh, there's a go-kart roller. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. That's a screwdriver or something. Uh, yep. What the hell? That Vehicles. I was already in vehicles, wasn't I? Oh, for God's sake. I, I hate Marketplace. <sighs> Starting to make me mad. All right, all right. Cars. How do I search for cars? Cars. How do I search within this category so I don't get fucking toothbrushes when I look things up? This is roll roller oh for fucks okay uh range look up pole barn garage yeah the, no no bonza bonza would be a cool one i have a good small block to put in something too so that's always an option but see i don't like this one that's the notchback monza uh they make a better drag car but i don't care about going fast really so that doesn't matter to me but i like the hatchback mods a lot better uh what's this one town coupe that's a notch bag although i mean it has a 70 oh for, oh my god 76 chevy monza town coupe with the rock crusher four speed that's right this four cylinder 
piece of shit has an M21 in it. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. My, my Millick Jones. Was going to turn this car into a drag car with 383 stroker, but I just don't have the time right now. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't have you don't have the intelligence. Sorry, bud. There, there's a spider. That's a cool car. Parked 40 years ago because the AC stopped working. Yep, that's the only reason. Uh, that's in South Dakota. How is that within 90 miles of my location? But it means it's probably a really nice car. And their factory V8. Oh, no, this one's a V6? Oh, barf. Barf. I thought all the Spiders were V8s. I thought they were 305s. I was wrong. Big wrong on that one. Ooh. So that would be ideal. I like Venturas a lot. They're very cool cars. I'd like to take something like that and then make a 74 GTO. That'd be cool. Pretty rusty though. That's a... That one is... That's pretty bad. Hatchback though. Ugh. Cool car, but I don't know. Ooh, an Avanti. Cool, it runs. Ah, oh, Avantis are awesome. I mean, it's an Avanti too, but that actually makes it a little better than the, the original one to me. No, I mean, the pictures. My God, man, the pictures. That's a really good deal on that, though. Uh, where's Sepulpa? Oh, not too bad. Just a little ways past Tulsa. Avantis are badass. I like that. I'm going to save that one. Uh, might get on that guy tomorrow. It's getting a little late tonight. All right. Well, we got anything else, uh... Anything else anybody wants to look up? I'm not looking up donks. It's a Chevy Love. An old ice cream truck. Search for not running Dodge D50. Fairlane's DeLorean. Probably not finding one of those. DeSoto 500XL. Monte Carlo. That might be a good one. Uh, square Bodies. We could, how about we just go by year? Let's start at like 1970 tonight. And what do we get? Um, everything except for that, of course. Uh, all right, hang on. If I go to vehicles, there we go. There we go. All right. 1960 to 1980. Oh, for the love of faith. How does the largest social media company on earth have the worst programming? There we go. Oh, well, what pops up immediately there? Uh, no motor or trans was a 389 auto car. Wow, that is a pile of garbage. I like it, but that is a pile of garbage. It, what kind of road sign is attached to the floor there? That's a, <laughs> It's got a couple of them. You know, I'd be into that car for a lot less than 3500 bucks. Uh, it would have to be like a thousand dollars it doesn't say anything about a title so you know it doesn't have one but that'd be a great candidate to drop a motor in hmm let's see 70 oh wait no that's an el camino isn't it yeah 78 el camino 800 bucks no title, but I know how to get it. Cost two fifty extra. Okay, uh, gonna cost him two fifty to go break into his buddy's house and steal it. <laughs> Three hundred five supposed to be a real good engine. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's uh, not really worth my time. If it was a 77, I'd be into it. I like the bigger El Caminos. Oh, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything that's really jumping out at me. Do, do, do. Yeah. I am going to have to wrap this up pretty quick here, though. i got to get to bed. But uh, really appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. You know, figured it has been a while. And, you know, somebody, somebody's got a patrol marketplace and keep this crap in check. Why am I? I clicked on cars. And what do we get? Tractors and dirt bikes and a lawnmower. Because why the hell not? Because this is marketplace. Oh, for God's sake. All right. Well, that's enough of that. Uh, anyway, let's. Uh, I'll do like uh, five minutes of Q and A here. So uh, hit me. What you got uh, for questions? And then we'll wrap this up. Call it a night. I typed in roller chassis earlier. I didn't really get much out of that, unfortunately. Would I do a diesel revival? Probably not. I don't know. Maybe if it was interesting enough. I'd. Stop my thing, you know. Uh, toes or tits? Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, tell us about the new shop plans. It's a uh, concrete's getting poured Monday. A nice six inch pad, 12 inch footings all the way around. And then I'm just going to go with one of those carport style buildings. I'm sure you guys have seen them. They're like tube steel, they're kind of cheaper. Um, that's what I'm going with with that. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> pizza that ass. Sorry, I got distracted by that. Uh, pizza that ass comment. That's genius. Uh, but yeah, it'll be a 30 by 50, which is actually the same dimensions as the building I have now. I'm not trying to do anything crazy uh, with it. I just need the extra room and a non-leaky roof. Frankly, the most cost-effective way to do it is to put up a cheap tube steel building. So that's what we're doing. Would you do an old Cadillac revival? Sure. I would, but it'd have to be the right one. Those are hard to find parts for. Uh, somebody asked if I ever bought a car from these streams. Uh, no. I, uh, well, yeah, I did, actually. I, uh, I bought, uh, sorry, the guy with that, uh, hang on, let's see what he said. The guy with that, uh, Cordoba message back. I bought that red Le Mans after finding it on here. And then that turned into the 68 Cutlass and everything. Uh, if you're a serious buyer, want to see the car coming down a bit more. Yeah, 4500 is pretty fair on that Cordoba. But uh, I don't know, I'm just not willing to uh, I don't know. 4500 for a Chrysler Cordoba still seems high to me, but you know. Hey, Kevin Reed gifted 20 Loba Club memberships. That's cool. Would you ever consider buying a Ford Ranger? No, I wouldn't. I mean, look, I, I know that kids today think that stuff is like classic, but it's not. It's it's not. It's not cool. I like it. It's a, it's a good little truck to use as a truck. But, you know, that's all it is. Uh, you know, you could put a small block, you know, Ford in one or an LS or something, and then I guess it's kind of neat, but... I'd rather have a 65 F100 over any Ford Ranger, and I can buy the F100 for less most of the time, right? <laughs> Let's see. Would you do a flathead V8 revival? Absolutely. Uh, definitely would. Preferably in a car, but I, I, I don't know. They're pretty pretty good motors, you know. 440 Cobra. That's not a thing. Uh, man, how glossy is the tractor paint you use? It all depends on how you shoot it. Uh, you got to lay it down wet. Would you ever do a EFI revol revival? No, I wouldn't. Because they're a pain in the ass. When they sit... You got to put injectors in it. You got to do all kinds of stuff. Fuel pump alone outweighs the cost of putting a carburetor on almost anything, generally. So, 
any more collabs coming up probably do some stuff with kevin and angus in the next month or two uh yeah we're gonna i'm doing an enduro race in butler missouri uh march 30th if you guys can make it to butler missouri uh around three o'clock in the afternoon or so uh, i'm gonna do a 150 lap enduro race out there in a station wagon i've got uh and so kevin and angus ought to be down there i think we'll see uh still at your nine to five yes i am um uh, definitely still doing that i i gotta wait till so i'm an apprentice electrician right now i need to turn out and get my journeyman's card so i have a, some kind of fallback thing in case this youtube thing dies someday which it might you never know uh and uh yeah so uh I'm looking at probably September, October. I'll I'll be full time YouTube. Maybe. I mean, if all goes well, you never know. <laughs> no, Angus hasn't picked up the car they left. That's probably what we'll be doing uh, when he gets down here. What's the plans for the Torino? When I'm full time YouTube, I will restore that Torino. I need time, and so I need more time than I have right now. Uh, I don't. That's not what I want to half ass. I mean, I'm willing to half-ass a few things on it. You know, I'm willing to, I want to build it to the best of my ability within reason. I'm not tearing the car down to the frame. That'd be stupid. But I will, I do want to fix all the rust in the car and do it correctly. Uh, I really like that car. Do you do a tractor revival? Yes, I would. Absolutely. How much for the silver dollar? I already sold it. Uh, thoughts on 87 Suburban? I mean, it's a square body, so good truck, you know. I just don't see trucks like that as, I don't know. To me, it's just a truck. You know, I mean, I, you guys, what is the truck I drive? It's an 82 K20. <laughs> uh, and the other truck I use to push things around here is a 78 K20 uh and i just look at them as trucks they're just trucks i mean they're i don't know i don't think they're anything like special or anything they're just a truck and they do their job very well and better than most new ones how much with a jag i actually got rid of the v8 jag uh yeah Let's see. Are you, gonna, are you going to put up a new barn? Yeah, I uh, kind of answered that. Yeah. Uh, take a drive. Fifth, five more low bug club memberships. Awesome. That's a, thank you so much. You guys can go watch the uh, new video that'll be out Friday. You get to watch it early. Uh, five, well, three days early now, but it's been out a couple days. Uh, the seventy Mustang is gone. I sold that one. David, I'm bringing the uh, boogie van on power tour. It should be a comfy comfy uh ride uh just dead thank you so much uh let's see weird question what's the best biggest profit on a revival so far that's an interesting question i like that uh so i would say probably that mustang too uh because that video got like eight hundred and fifty thousand views it did really well uh but otherwise like those LTDs or that Cutlass or even this Red Le Mans. Those are cars I paid like five or six hundred bucks for. Not because I'm a YouTuber like everybody accuses me of, but because that's how much they were listed for. And, you know, that uh, those cars, you get a lot of, you know, you minimal investment with kind of a medium return is better than like that four by four van where I didn't make any money on that at all. So. You know, that's a, that is something you have to consider when you're doing this stuff. Uh, and more European cars? Maybe. I would I would literally get another Jag, and I'm not joking, just for fun. And I would also get uh, uh, like an Opal, even though it's kind of European-ish. Um, I like them. Uh, what else? I don't know. Like a Pantera, or so, you know, a Jensen. But they don't. We just don't have a lot of European cars over here that are touchable. I mean, Mercedes and Volvo and stuff. I, ugh, no thanks. 
MG, I would get an MGB. Yeah, MGB GT. I want the I want the hard top one. I don't like the little, you know, they remind me of Mr. Bean cars. Even I know his was a mini, but still. Yeah, you know, but the the uh hard top MGB is really cool. Would I ever sell the 4x4 van? Yeah, probably. Uh once I'm done with it. I got, you know, I like to finish my stuff. So uh absolutely would probably sell it when I'm done. It's it off-road mudding things. It's not really my bag, uh, but it's fun to play with, you know, and I said I'd build it, and that's why it happened. But, uh, we still have JD's car. Yes, we do. Uh, wish I had time to come help people get stuff running, but I don't. see uh how much for the cutlass that 68 cutlass i gave 500 bucks for it i probably got i might have put 100 bucks in it i mean so whatever i got in it but i need my wheels back uh but i mean if you want to come give me 600 bucks for it come get it out of here that's fine serious you can email me pbg dalton gmail.com uh, yeah i mean I, i'd sell it I mean, it's a good parts car to have, but I can't keep, you know, everything around forever, right? So if you want to come drag it out of my yard, go for it. All right, guys, I am going to get out of here. Uh, but thanks so much for uh, hanging out. And uh, it was a fun time, as usual. And we'll see you guys next time on Crackheads and Marketplace at Pole Barn Garage. Good night.